my hunt on eBay was successful. So in this video I will install some real furniture on a Waytech M16A1. Last time I modified a real, military, called M16A1 lower to airsoft specs. The real lower is sadly sandwiched between the brand new WE upper and brand new pistol grip. One below and one above, in the sandwich of love. I'm not sure how to amend the upper situation just yet, so I will pretend it doesn't exist, like my crippling eBay addiction. Oakley dokely, I got my hands on a pair of handguards, a pistol grip, and a stock, complete with rack number. They are made out of plastic and circa 1970s, so it is mottled, used, and a wee bit abused. The difference between the real and the WE, shape-wise, is nothing, as far as I can see on the handguards. The pistol grip, however, has more of a flat top checkering, compared to the WE's pointed checkering, according to a sketchy website. Lastly, the stock is shorter than the Waytech. That will complicate things later on. I will leave the rusty sling swivel and associated bits B, since it adds to the experience. Starting at the beginning, as one should, I install the handguard on the replica. I tilt it into the handguard cap, pull back the slip ring, and push the handguard in place. This slip ring is rather new and springy. It does put up a fair fight. <laughs> Moving over to the pistol grip. Here you can see the WE grip on the left, versus the real one on the right. The hole for the fire selector detent spring is shallower on the real grip, so the spring sticks out higher. If I install the grip as is, the spring will be too powerful, making the detent grind down my fire selector, eventually ruining it. So I cut off as many coils as I dare, put it in the grip, install the pistol grip, and try the fire selector out. If need be, I cut away more coils until the fire selector feels right. Oh no, using my feelings as facts, like a social justice warrior. With the spring sorted, let's go over the grip screw. If you have a factory WE lower, you can just use the factory grip screw to install the real pistol grip. Since I have a real M16 lower, I will use a quarter inch unified national fine screw with 28 threads per inch and two washers. Again, weird real steel dimensions. <sighs> now on to the stock. <laughs> Vietnam dust, oh no, Agent Orange. When I'm over that hurdle, it's time to install a suitable M5 screw to secure the stock. Since the real stock is slightly shorter than the WE one, I need a shorter screw, or cut the WE one to length. I decided to modify the WE screw, since it's readily available. So I dye the threads, cut it to the correct length, and finally install it. One step closer to completion for my M16A1 build. Looking good! In the future, I guess I'll redo the upper in a more suitable color. Disregard it for now. Please don't look at it. With that being said, it's time to test fire this thing. Ah, full auto goodness. Next time on Special Weapons and Plastic, I smack my box. I place an order with a colorblind vendor. And I empty my load. If you can't wait, check out our other videos. Please share and subscribe.